Oh, hello and welcome. Um, welcome to another episode of Fun Learning with me, Vanessa. So in this tutorial questions, I will find it rather difficult for me to classify the concept. So I'll just call it substitution. And probably as I explain along the way, you will understand why I want to classify this as under substitution. And it's actually similar to the concept of like difference to the one var variable. Okay, let's take a look at this question. The cost of six identical chairs, five identical lamps, and one table is $505. The cost of two such chairs and one table is $228, while one chair and one lamp cost $63. So, part A, what is the total cost of one chair and one table? B, what is the total cost of one table, one lamp, and one chair? So. Um, this question is actually split into part A and part B. My advice to students is always to attempt part A first. Because in a way, most of the questions, um, most times I would, I've discovered that uh, by attempting part A, yeah, actually, the question is actually indirectly helping you in the steps. Okay, so the sequence, in order to find part B, you have to attempt part A first. So likewise, if your part A is wrong, part B will be wrong. So maybe you must be very careful with such questions. Okay, let's move on. So before that, um, probably, probably I want to draw use model. As what I always like is model for you to understand. And then once you understood, just use number sentences or number statements to write down. Okay, so let's give them color blocks. Um, well, chair, maybe I have one red. Lamp, I give her a yellow. Then the table, I give it a blue. Remember, at this point in time, because we don't know what is the exact cost of each individual item, so there's no way I can say, oh, the chair is uh, more, expensive, more expensive than the lamp and things that, uh, and, and so on and so forth. So what is important is the color shades of each individual items. So like what I always say, you can like, add the red to the blue, you know, and things like that. But you can add all which are blue, all which are red. So what you could do is uh, probably you can shade it, or un um, the other is unshade, or some shade vertically, some shade horizontally, diagonally, whatever it is. So to differentiate them uh, during your exam paper. But of course, as I always say, you can actually make do with the model. You can only use um, just number sentences to, to, to solve the whole thing, the whole question. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether um, which one is longer, which one is smaller, it doesn't matter. All right. So let's move on. With that, uh, let's take a look at the analyzing sentences by sentence. So we are breaking them, the questions into smaller parts, bite size in order to work on it. So let's see, six identical chairs, five identical lamps, and one table is $505. So this is how the model will look like, right? And the total is 505. So the second one, the cost of two such chairs and one table is 228 so again i will have two red blocks and one blue that's a total of 228 and the third expressions well i would have one chair and one lamp cost 63 dollars so you see that so answer the question now what is the total cost of one chair and one table okay at this point you can see that uh where can i find one chair and one table so basically i need a red and a blue a red and a blue here, mm, but that's not very useful in this piece of information. Why? Uh, well, let me see. Because there's no other information that I could derive from this. So I have an extra red. Well, how about looking at this block of model here? Shall we? So analyzing this, the very first model that we are looking at well, right now, our purpose is to have one red, one blue. So I take away that. So I take away this one red and one blue. So what would I have? I need to take away so-called. Take away, yeah? So one, two, three, four, five, five chairs, and one, two, three, four, five, and five lamp. So uh, so what's next? I need to take away this one, or is there another piece of information whereby I can actually have five, we, I know the value of five chairs, and five lamps. Okay, so let's analyze this. Equal, equal number of chairs and lamps. Can you take a look at this? They are just highlighted. 
this particular statement. Five groups equal number of chairs and lamps. So if I know one group is $63, I need five groups of it, right? So that I would have five chairs and five lamps. Can you see that? And rearranging them, I think it will be even clearer. See that? So this two portion here from this purple line to the other is actually 315. So I just substitute this with the actual value because now I know that five blocks of red and five blocks of yellow give me um, 315. So substitute that with the actual number. Ta -da! I think you see the answer right now. We are left with one blue and one red. And can you solve it now? Yes, it's pretty obvious because once you take away this portion, okay, 315, you're left with this too. So this is your answer for part A. One chair plus one table is um, 505, take away 315, which is $190. Okay, part A. So, okay, so now, recap. This is what we have found for part A. As I, as I, as I said just now, part A will lead you to find part B. So now that you have already found part A, which is one chair plus one table is $190, you need to find the cost of one lamp that you will be able to solve your part B. Right? So how do I go about solving it? The same thing, analyzing the statements in the questions. You see how I often I go back and forth, back to the question to analyze each statement. So a lot of times students just tell me that, oh, I only read one time. No, it's not enough. You read, to read two times in order to understand the question. And then as you solve, you may have to go back to the questions in order to uh, single out that particular piece of information that you need at that particular point in time. So two chairs and one table is $228. Two chairs, so what can you see? The additional, can you see something additional again? So you see that here is very easy. So right now I have an additional chair. If I know this additional chair, the cost of it, $38, then analyzing the next statement again. One chair and one lamp cost $63 and since you know the, the cost of the chair $38 finding the, the yellow block becomes easy okay which is some $63 take away $38 which is left with $25 so that's it you have all your answer to part B simple as that so keep calm and think because in math all pieces of information that you need to solve the question must be provided. And for that reason, you can solve practically all the questions, all the mysteries. Imagine that you're just a little deductive, you'll be able to solve the question. That's it, simple as that. I probably will modify the questions and you attempt similar questions like that. Um, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you find it's useful or that, um, yeah, put a like if this is benefiting you. Um, have a nice day and uh, hope to see you again. Goodbye.